A local man devastated because he was wrongly labeled a sex offender. It happened when someone made a mistake on his Florida ID card. And as you're about to learn, it resulted in a lot of pain and anguish that no innocent person should go through. Channel 4 investigates. Our Vic Michelucci got to the bottom of it and got results. Vic? Yeah, Mary, Andrew Flaherty is legally blind, so he got a Florida ID instead of a regular driver's license at the tax collector's office right here on the west side just off Blanding Boulevard. But he says one simple mistake really humiliated him and ruined his reputation. Andrew Flaherty moved to Florida last year and, as required by law, changed his ID to his new home state. But as he visited banks, doctor's offices, and pharmacies, he noticed that things didn't seem right and Floridians weren't showing Southern hospitality. Even when my brother from Hawaii came to visit me, uh, he, he said, you got a dark cloud over you for some reason. Then in March, it all became clear when Flaherty and his brother tried to get onto the base at NAS Jacks. When we gave the ID, they told, me to, told us to pull over. And about 30 minutes later, an officer approached our vehicle and said that there's a Florida statute on my ID that said that uh, I'm a sexual offender. It's a crime for sex offenders to get on military bases. Wow, I was completely floored. I'd, I'd, I've never been accused, much less being convicted of something that horrible. That's right. We checked, and Flaherty's background is clean. The problem was his Florida ID card. Take a look at the bottom right corner, 943.0435 FS. It may not mean much to you, but it's a statute that means the person on the ID is a convicted sexual offender. Who has formed this opinion of me that I'm a, I'm a sexual offender? Flaherty believes it was a simple mistake with terrible damage. He's hired attorney John Phillips to look over what happened. I mean, here's a man that did nothing wrong, um, lives on, lives on the, the absolute right side of life, and all of a sudden he's been called, you know, one of the worst of the worst. We did our own investigation and looked for answers ourselves, taking the issue to the people who gave him the ID, those at the Duval County Tax Collector's Office. It was not an intentional thing. It was a mistake. Absolutely human error. Deputy Tax Collector Sherry Hall says one of the clerks accidentally clicked the wrong box when creating Flaherty's ID. They use a state computer program to make the cards, and there are a series of boxes that pull down which classify people as organ donors, insulin dependent, and sex offenders. Once we brought Flaherty's problem to their attention, those at the tax collector's office took action. Hall says she immediately let all the employees know what happened and is working to train them so that they can avoid issues like this in the future. And as far as that state computer program, well, she says her office has contacted the state office to try to make it a little bit more fail safe so this doesn't happen again. And Flaherty's ID is clean just like his record. So we absolutely apologize that this error caused him any issues at all. We have corrected his identification since this occurred. Certainly uh, are, are very sorry that he was the recipient of this mistake. Hall says this is the first time a mistake like this has ever happened in her office. But she says the markings on IDs and licenses are important. Channel 4's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says police need to know who they're dealing with and having the statute clearly labeled certainly helps. Any of the restrictions that are given to sex offenders would draw a red flag once an officer looked at the driver's license and see the designation. And we found out earlier this week that the tax collector did send a formal apology letter to Mr. Flaherty as well as refunded all the money that he spent on that original ID. Still, Flaherty says it's just not enough, and he is continuing to speak with his attorney about what future action he may take. We're live tonight on the West Side. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, I'm sure plenty of our viewers are pulling out their IDs right now and their licenses after seeing your investigation. What do they need to be looking for? Yeah, and that was the first thing that I did when I found out about this story, Mary. I looked at my license. This was in the bottom right, and it was a Florida state statute. But really, those at the tax collector's office say, look for anything that you don't recognize that just really 
it doesn't make sense to you. Look over everything and double check it. And if you have any questions, she says take it back to the clerk and they'll be happy to help you because it's better to be safe than sorry. Absolutely. Vic Michelucci reporting to us live. Thanks so much, Vic.